welcome to today's tutorial uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn on how to make this amazing amazing um, Valentine's uh, uh, poster promotion okay so let's get started okay so the first thing that you need to do in uh, Photoshop is go to file then um, let's create uh, a new a new document or you simply click command and then it's going to direct you to where you need to create your new document okay so in this case we are we are, we are making something that is square so meaning uh, on the dimensions okay let me just change this to millimeters so on the dimensions we're going to have something like uh, let's put 210 Okay, let's put 210 by 210 then I'm, I'm going to use uh, the resolution of uh, 300 pixels uh, per inch then uh, the color mode the color mode we are going to use uh, RGB color okay then uh, that's the color mode that we're going to use okay I think that's all for now let's get started Okay, so uh, what we need to do now is yeah, when I want to insert the background uh, that I want to uh, put on this uh, poster, what I need to do is uh, go to file, then go wisely, then place embedded, place embedded, click there, then it's going to direct you to a folder where, where you're going to find the uh, background. So simply you choose for yourself where you, where you want to get the background from. So in this case, we want something rightish. Okay, place. Then it's placed like that then what we need to do now in this case is uh we need to click um enter then it is set but uh there is also another way <coughs> that we can use for us to to to, to place our, our our image into uh photoshop or into the work piece that we are working on let's just undo this one so when you want to undo you simply click control control um control outset yes so let's go to Let's go to our folder download so what we do is um when we want to, to 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 place an image you simply drag it to photoshop you simply drag it to photoshop there you go brilliant okay so it is set so there are two ways it's either you go to place embedded or you drag it to photoshop there we go we are set so the next step that we're going to do is now place the image of a model let's place the image of a model that uh, we are using in this case so images me we need something a model wash was wearing okay it's valentine so we need something red okay this is good okay there we go we've placed the image of a model so in this case what we're going to look at now is um cropping cropping the background we want only uh, um we want only uh the 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 the, the, the person and we don't want the background so how to crop the, the, the background is you first go to to to, to, to the layer um light click then go to where it's lit and there layer you restoralize the layer then from there you go to the select to to the quick select to or you simply click w then it's going to direct you to the quick select to <coughs> then what there is there's an amazing trick that you find in photoshop uh, 20, 2020 or uh, 2018 yes so you click where it's lit and uh, select subject <coughs> then it's going to select the subject automatically so let's just wait for it to load a little bit okay it's loading the laptop is slow so let's take our time okay that selected the subject automatically then what we need to do next is uh click click words leading select and mask okay um well we now need to refine the edges of uh, this image so what we now need to do is uh, just increase on the transparency so that we don't see what's on the background okay let's let's just zoom in a little bit let's just zoom in okay okay you've seen how the work is the edges are not so fine so let's do a little bit of a trick okay let's clean out the unwanted parts let's clean out the unwanted parts okay just take your time 
take your time finding the edges take your time okay and then when you want to clean the, the yeah, when you want to clean the edges of the air you, you, you go to to do to, to the fine edge brush or you simply command you simply click w sorry not command then ensure you, you you pass it you pass it okay where we go okay okay there we go it's refined okay it's good so the next step that we need to do now is increase a little bit of the radius just to something like two now switch on the smart ledges then as you can see um, the edges of uh, the, 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 the the edges of a person is uh, they, they, they are they are becoming so so fine they're becoming so fine then you go to where it's little feather just increase it to 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 something like 1.3 somewhere there but it depends with uh, what you're working on certain times i'm just showing you out i'm just showing you how to do it but it's your destiny to choose it's it's up to you to choose what you're going to work with it's up to you to choose what best works for you okay so uh the good thing the good part about designing is that uh, they are no you're not restricted to to specific numbers you're not restricted to specific numbers you're not restricted to specific things that you need to use you need to you need to practice yourself you need to use what best what best works for you okay let's just clean the edges a little bit okay there we go there we go so after this now we make sure after you you refine the edges make sure you go where it's written invert and click there okay invert then click okay after that you now go where it's written edit edit you go clear meaning we are clearing out the background then select deselect okay fine there we go <coughs> this is good this is good so let's place let's place our model there okay this is good so what the next step now here is uh to to now let's increase increase a little bit the next step that we need to do now here is um let's get now into creativity let's now make so the next step that we need to do now is uh, let's 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 import in the balloons let's drag in the balloons okay i, I downloaded some balloons okay there you go let's let's place this one We need to do here is uh, for for us to 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 let's let's place in a shape. Let's place in a shape. Okay, shape is going to be placed there. Okay, so what we need now to do is uh, for this shape for us to blend this shape to something brilliant because we need to have something reddish. What we do is go to the shape fill and uh, choose the the gradient fill. The gradient fill. Then from there, um, double click on it and it's going to bring you something like this. Okay, so let's let's just change the color instead of using white. Let's choose red instead. Let's choose red instead. It's a Valentine's. <laughs> it's a Valentine's. So let's choose red. Something like that is okay. So let's drag this that side. Okay, there we go. Then let's ensure this one. Let's give it red also. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's just delete it. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, we are set. Okay, that's that's good. So we've inserted in. We've inserted in. Let's just drag it a little bit down. Okay, and this is not okay. You simply work on it, or okay, simply. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's good now. So 
we're going to make these balloons a little bit uh, a little bit um, blare. Let's give them 20. That's that's 22. Let's give them 10. Okay. Then this balloon. So so. Okay. There we go. Then. So next, uh, we're now going to insert in the text. Okay. So we're going to insert in the text. So what we need to do is uh, when we want this image, this for this this um, the, the text to be behind um, the, the subject to the model, we need to drag it below the layer of uh, the subject. There you go. It's it's gorgeous. It's now behind. It's behind. So let's create uh, a folder. Let's create a new group. Sorry, not a folder, a new group. So we're going to name it as text, and we're going to drag the text there. Okay. Then let's create another. Um, another layer sorry another group and this group we're going to name it as a, a bg that is a background okay so we're going to click we're going to select all these switch this off we're going to switch all these and place them there okay smart smart graphic designer works like that that's good so um let's let's use the rectangular the rectangular tool okay there you go okay so let's it has to be uh, below the balloons then fill 
uh, it's not going to have any feel in the, the stroke. Let's give it uh, a stroke of uh, seven. And uh, let's give it a color of white. Okay, stroke of uh, seven. There you go. <coughs> We've created um. Uh, so um, what we need to do is uh, Command J. Then it's going to allow us to to, to to duplicate the layer. Then if you want it to be moving uh, in the straight or even an even manner, you need to click Shift. Yes, you need to click Shift. Yes, then it's going to allow you. It's going to allow you to ensure when clicking Shift, you've you've um, you've selected the layer that you want to move there you go brilliant so let's just insert in now the the text let's insert in the text so in this case we we, we, we are talking about uh, the, the the promo the promo prices uh, over over uh, photo photo shoot it's for example let's put five uh, photos what have i written five photos five photos k35 30 quarter okay then um 10 photos let's put uh, 70 kwacha okay 70 kwacha then uh, 15 uh, photos uh, let's put it as uh, k 100 kwacha then let's just change why it's written prices and put uh, okay 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 let's just put as uh, packages okay packages then let's let's underline this one collector and let's underline this one okay it's good and let's give it let's give it a font over 20. i think a font of 20 will do in this case uh, it's a little bit small 22 okay let's give this as 26 okay we are set and we just have to move it just move it a little bit there then um, let's now insert uh, the contact details. So, uh, call or, or WhatsApp. Uh, let's put. Let's just put. You put your number. Plus two six zero nine uh, six one six two six five eight nine. Okay. So that is the con. You put the contact number there. Okay, so this means this means the balloon to this the the, 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 the text uh, the text why you were inserting the text we have to reduce reduce the size a little bit okay it it, it now looks uniform and super good so let's just uh, insert up something here so here we're going to put um, uh, this promotion okay Just reduce the font to 18. Okay. <laughs> I almost wrote 2020. 2020. Then. Um, uh, terms and conditions apply okay and there you go there you go let's just reduce the font to 16 so that uh, everything can fit okay and let's give it something like 16 okay there you go and let's move it a little bit it will be down okay that's good so in this case we're going to select these two now let's move them a little bit down so up next now we're going to um, insert in the location this uh you're going to if you, if you want it to look the work to look so interesting you 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 simply download in some icons like this is um, icon that i have for so this is the icon that I have for the location. Then let's just reduce its size. Just reduce its size. Okay. 
there you go so that is the location icon and you just insert the location like um, this is a uh, oh the font size it's too big so let's just reduce it to 18 okay and dollar let's put it as in decay in decay and dollar okay you put you put your location <laughs> Put your location. Okay, there you go. There you go. So let's just give it a whitish color. There you go. We've worked on everything. We've inserted everything. So uh, the other part now, the most, uh, the other part that we need to work on now is uh, the text. The text. When you look at this text that we've uh, we've worked on. So let's let's just do a little bit of magic to it. Let's let's make them look so uh, eye-catching to, to 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 your clients. So what we need to do is let's make this let's make the text eye-catching to the clients. So since we've put them in a folder, what we need to do is right click, then go where it's written as uh, brand options. Okay, brand option. Then you drag it, you drag it on the outside part. Then um, let's just drag it aside. Then uh, when you come to where it's written bevel you click there you mark it there i'm sure you're able to, to see the changes then this also has to be marked then you need to ensure the style is chosen as inner bevel then smoothness just the, the, the technique just put it as smooth but you can also try out other techniques then the direction has to be you know has to be up then um we can increase it to somewhere of 500 then it depends with what you love yourself it's i'm just giving you tips so it's up to you to to, to go on to something that you're going to love yes and um you see when, when this uh the, the, the size of uh the direction let's 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 try to give it uh, 40 okay 40 let's give it 40. then um you've seen that it's very eye-catching to, to 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 your clients whenever they look at this it's very eye-catching then we need to go where it's written softness we need it's 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 too sharp so we need to give it um, uh, a softness we need to give it its soft feel so it's soft feel maybe let's give it something like uh 14. it's just there and let's reduce this let's reduce this a little bit there we go okay there you go and also reduce this okay so in this case it depends with what you want as as a graphic designer what you feel is okay for you but this video i also recommend it to photographers photographers no need of adding a graphic designer to, to do a, a promotion um a promotion uh, fryer for you sit down on your laptop your photoshop get get to work and do some of these things then there are other things that you can put in like um the the the, the, the shadow the shadow you can put up a, a drop back shadow yes there you go there you go. I just increase its uh, size, but it is in this case we don't need a, a drop back, a, a drop shadow. I, I feel this way doesn't need it. Okay, there you go. Okay, we are set now. We are set. This is excellent work. We are set. So the the the, the, the other element now, we are, what we are going to work on now is uh, give it a magical feel now. Give it a magical feel. When you look at the model, she's 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 wearing red. So we are going to paint her lips. We are going to paint her lips. I'm going to paint her lips, I'm just going to give her so
thank you for watching this tutorial i'm sonda mandona please subscribe for more tutorials and let me know what you feel about this tutorial that i've made thank you